you've seen your open rate dropping over time with your emails, particularly in Klaviyo, then watch this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix that and cover all of the different scenarios. Why is this important? Put it simply, more people see your emails, more people click, more people buy, right? You make more money. So let's dive into it. First step is to go to the Klaviyo dashboard and I'm gonna show you how to actually diagnose your open rate problems, okay? So first of all, you wanna to go to home because there's actually a few solutions to different like variations of this problem. You're gonna click overview dashboard, right? And you're gonna be brought to this page. Now by default, this option is not gonna be available, okay? So what you will need to do is you'll need to hit add card and then scroll all the way down. And what you're gonna see is there's gonna be a block that says email open rates by domain or like email deliverability by domain, something like that, right? You're gonna click on that card obviously, and then you're gonna click add to data view, okay? So obviously I've blurred a lot of the sensitive data with my clients, but you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and it's called email deliverability by email domain. And you're gonna see this, right? The four domains that I displayed first is the ones that matter most because it's sorted by the total number of recipients, right? So you can expect Gmail to be on top, Yahoo second, Hotmail and iCloud typically kind of like battles it out depending on your kind of like store niche. Now, you'll notice that your deliverability probably does not look like one of my clients, okay? And it's because we've obviously taken meticulous steps to kind of like maintain the deliverability of this account. But most likely, I'd say eight out of 10 stores right now is facing this issue if they are in being improperly managed, okay? And that's Hotmail right now has really strict deliverability filters. So if you followed me in the video so far, you'll notice that most likely, if you fall into one of the categories that I'm about to show you, you're gonna have Hotmail being the key problem, okay? Now, if your Gmail deliverability is bad, then that's more of a problem because obviously Gmail has majority market share in the email hosting space right now. So I'm gonna jump into a Figma file right now. I'm gonna show you a few scenarios that you might be facing and how to actually solve for all of them. Right, so you're gonna keep this tab open and you're gonna watch this part because it's gonna show you exactly what you might be facing and how to fix each of them. So we just went through step one. Now there's three main variations of problems that you could potentially be facing, okay? Number one is one of the domains that you are seeing is doing really poorly. So for example, if you see, let's say in our case, like Hotmail is not doing so hot, but then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna follow the steps that I'm about to outline you here, which is you're gonna wanna split your sending process from problematic domains versus non-problematic. I'm gonna show you how to create those segments in a second. And you're gonna wanna warm up over time and then you're gonna broaden out that targeting date as you warm them up, as you warm yourself out of spam. Okay. Second scenario, this is actually the most rare scenario where there's like two or more domains that are bad, but not all of them. So what I mean by that is normally it's like either Gmail and Yahoo or like uh, Yahoo and iCloud or just Hotmail as a, like a standalone. It's very rare that only Gmail is the problem, right? That's what makes this case so rare. If this is the case, the solution is basically to determine, okay, how bad is it, right? If let's say the two domains are problematic, that is like, well over 20% deliverability. So like in this case, right, Hotmail is 36%. So comparatively, Hotmail is low. So that means we do have like a deliverability problem with Hotmail, but because it's still above 36%, all we gotta really do is just like tighten the engage segment and then warm them up slowly. And if you just stick with me here, I'm gonna show you exactly how to actually create those segments uh, in a couple minutes time. Now, if you, if you fall into the third bucket, which is like all of your deliverability, like all of your open rates for all of the domains are sub 25, 30%, you probably wanna start switching to like a dedicated sending domain. Now, this is a really uh, easy thing to do. It takes about five minutes. I already have a video uploaded on my channel showing you exactly how to actually do that. So if you just wanna like find it on my channel or like it should be, in one of the top corners or in the description, you'll be able to watch that video and get that sorted. Now, if you're wondering, Boyan, like how do you actually know so much about deliverability in emails? Well, it's because my friend, I run one of the best email marketing agencies out there for e-commerce. 
and we're real Klaviyo experts. So if you're a brand that's kind of like over a million a year in revenue, then you can book in a call with us and we'd love to potentially help you out and basically help take over your email channels, right? Now let's talk about the first solution where it's basically splitting the send and warming up with more engaged. So this is just a demo account that I've hopped into right here. But basically what you're gonna wanna do is in terms of creating the segments, you're gonna need a 15 day engaged, 30 day engaged, 45 day engaged, and 90 day engaged. Okay, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to build out all of them right now. Basically, the process here is, right, after you create these segments, you're gonna create it for only the problematic domains. And this is a part that a lot of people miss, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. So it's like plethora problematic domains x day right so xd is basically like 15 day and then you're going to create another one for 30 day 45 day and then like 60 day 75 day and then 90 day okay you're going to create all of these segments but the template for all of them is exactly the same so i'm just going to show you right so what someone has or has not done opened email at least once in the last and this is where you put the x okay so let's say we're creating a 15 day segment it'll be like this but the important part is, and this is where people miss, is you need to add the filters, right? So what that would look like is you click add filter where email property, right? So where property, where email domain equals, and then you put in the problematic domain. So let's say in your case, it would be like Hotmail. You might also want to include like hotmail.uk d etc but you know if you're only us or like uk based or whatever just select the dot com plus the country that you're with and it'll be fine okay so let's say you put equals hotmail.com and then you want to click or someone has or has not done clicked email at least once in the last and then it's the x days again okay so this is pretty much enough i've seen people do like um you know like join the list is in the last 15, 20 days. But the problem is when you're warming people up out of your domain, you shouldn't actually include those people because they're either going into spam or they're not. You see what I mean? And I've also seen pe some people use and is not suppressed, but that's not super important because you know Klaviyo wouldn't send emails to suppress people anyways. So once this is done, you're gonna create this segment and then you're gonna wanna create the 30 day segment as well, right? And the 30 day segment is literally just this and this boom done and then you're going to do 60 days 75 days and 90 days now what you're going to do is you're going to send campaigns to last 90 day engaged right and in that campaign targeting last 90 day engaged what you're going to do is you're going to exclude people like this this segment so if you're on 15 day warm-up in the beginning you're going to be excluding this segment right here okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to clone that campaign and then target the 15 day segment, right? So what that does is essentially after you create all of these engaged segments, what you're going to do is you're going to create a problematic domains segment period. And in this one, what you're going to do is you're going to, it's going to look like this, right? Problematic domains. And it's just has a property where email domain and then you could put, it's not equals, it's contains hotmail.com or properties about someone contains, let's say you're, you're like a UK brand, then you would put like contains hotmail.co.uk, right? Another way to do it is just like, just do hotmail and that should cover literally everything. So you're gonna hit create this segment and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna send your campaigns as normal, but in terms of targeting, here's what you gotta do, right? In the first campaign that you send, you send to last 90 day engaged, right? And then on the exclusion segment, you're gonna exclude this segment right here, problematic domains. Now, you're gonna duplicate, like clone that campaign. And in the second campaign, you're gonna be targeting the 15 day problematic domain itself. Just that, just 15 day problematic domains. And then next time uh, you're gonna observe the data to see how it looks and you're gonna see open rates go up immediately. 
right? And then on the next campaign, you're still gonna do the same. And then you're gonna move it up to 30 days. And then you're gonna move it up to 45 days, 60 days, etc., etc. You only move up if you see a increase in open rate. You do not move up if open rate stays the same. Okay, so let's say you send it this time and the open rate goes from 10% to 20%, let's say, right? Then next campaign, you can jump up from sending to 15 days to 30 days. But now if you see 20% consistently or like a slight drop, you're gonna wanna stay on 30 days until you see the next jump, right? And then you're gonna slowly, slowly broaden out back to 90 days. This is gonna be a little time consuming, right? It's gonna take a while, but I promise you it's gonna fix it. We've done this for a ton of clients and if you're a million dollar brand or eight figures, even nine figures we've worked with, you can book in a call, first link in the description and I'd love to help you guys out with your email and SMS problems. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, see you in the next one.